back to another video. Today I wanted to show you guys our tiny house and give you a little tour of our super small space that we call home. So our house is 364 square feet. It's a little bit out in the country and it's kind of away from everybody else. I've lived here for about seven months. I've lived here seven months and then my husband moved in six months ago when we got married. This is my first time living in a tiny house so it's been fun to try to figure out how to use our space wisely and I thought I would show you guys how we've done things around here and give you a little tour. Okay guys so starting off this is our front door. We have a little porch right here and this cooler we keep actually um, canned goods in because we can't fit all of our pantry items in our house. Um, and then we have this cute little hello welcome mat. So when you walk in, there's this little hall and when you turn to your left, we have our kitchen. The nice thing about our kitchen is that it does have a full size oven and a full size refrigerator. Up here we have our little sign from my friend for our wedding and then this is a little honey jar that we actually handed out as party favors at our wedding so we keep one right there. On this side this is a little succulent that we're propagating. You can see there's two in there um, and I thought it was super cute in this little succulent mug. And then we have our candle. And then down here we keep a jar of honey for cooking and some essential oils and our little brushy scrub and some garlic on this cute little platform. Over here we keep all of our like cleaning supplies and just like our broom and our vacuum it kind of has to stay back here behind the oven. It's not the cutest but when you have 364 square feet you work with what you got. And then here we have um, our spice rack, which is super helpful in saving space in our cupboards. Our windowsill is full of little succulents that we're propagating. I'm thinking about making a video about how we propagate our succulents because that's something that we've enjoyed doing recently. Next to the front door is this little welcome sign with hooks that we keep little bags and my purse and some keys and just little knickknacks that we have hanging. On the other side of the door, we have all of our shoes and we got this really cute little shoe wrap for our wedding. Up here is our calendar and it's a little quirky. Next is our kitchen table. Um, these are some decorations left over from our wedding. These are little salt and pepper shakers that are super cute. We have our coasters and another succulent and my Christmas mug, of course. And then over here, things get a little wonky. We use this table as kind of a way to conceal some stuff that we don't have anywhere else to put. Um, these boxes under here currently are Christmas presents, so we're looking forward to handing those out and clearing out some space. And we also keep a space heater here because this room doesn't have a heater and sometimes it gets cold in the mornings. And then we had to put our microwave and our air fryer and toaster oven in this corner because it couldn't fit anywhere else. Um, so that's just kind of what we're working with right now. We keep our Bibles and our journals right here next to the table so that when we wake up, we can read our Bibles together. And then this was a cute little box that some little note cards came in and I just thought was really cute, so I've kept it. In the windowsill, we have, once again, more succulents, and these are also from our wedding. And then we, of course, have our Christmas tree. Everyone needs a blanket basket, so this is ours. I think the basket holds about one blanket, and then the rest are just stacked on top. And then we have these cute little pillows that we got for our wedding, and it came in a set of four, so the other ones are behind the couch over there. And then this is our little love seat. It is quite old, so we look forward to replacing it. Over here is this adorable little cart that my grandma got us for our wedding that we absolutely love. It's a great way to have a little bit more counter space 
and to store some more things. It also is on wheels, so it's really nice if I need to wheel it over to the kitchen. And then we have our coffee maker and some pictures of us from our wedding. This is like my favorite section of the house where we have a few candles and this little tree sign and then an L. Heading over into the bedroom, this is my dresser. Starting off, I have a few more pictures from our wedding and then some little signs. We do have a basket of pocket knives and I have my little white wicker One thing that I have found helpful, although it's not the most space efficient, but I like to keep our dressers pretty short so that the walls still feel more open um, and there seems to be more counter space, especially having some empty space like this makes the whole space feel bigger, as well as choosing lighter colors, so we went mostly with white. Down there are my weights. And then over here is my husband's dresser, same thing. It's pretty short um, and it's white. He has some of his knickknacks and some stuff that we have to list on eBay, but that's real life, so I left it in. Over here is our little nightstand. I actually thought that I would end up using this TV tray for school, but it works better as a nightstand. We have our little lamp on it and our iHome clock. And then underneath it, we keep all of our movies and TV shows. This is our bed. We did choose to get a bed that has under bed storage. There's four drawers under here, so it's really concealed, but also space efficient in this tiny house. In this corner, we have another nightstand that we don't particularly love, so we just kept it back there. And we have a lamp on it and my printer for school. And then this is another one of those sections where we just keep things that don't have another place. Um, and we have little bins. One bin is full of swimsuits, one is full of pajamas. That one has all my nail polish in it. So we've just kind of had to be useful and figure out what works best and what is kind of out of our way. Here I have my sock basket and then also my rollers for sports. Up above we have my husband's hat collection hanging on our wall. And then we have another section of just things in white containers and our little heater. Coming this way we have our closet which is very small but we keep our dirty clothes in there and some more clothes and all of our coats and jackets and dresses and whatnot. And we have a few more pictures from our wedding. Then this is the bathroom, which is also one of my favorite places in the house because I feel like everything matches and is really cute. This shower curtain is actually more of a sage green, but in this lighting, it doesn't look like it. Over here, we have this cute little garbage can. I love this one because the top comes down so you don't have to see everybody's tissues or whatnot. Another picture from our wedding. And then we have our sink. And over here is where we keep our towels in this cute little basket. We usually have a few more in there, but currently it's running a little low. In here, I keep some hair things and just some extra bars of soap, random toiletries that we have on hand. I have my little makeup mirror and a Mrs. Myers candle. We do have this interesting little storage thing up here, which I keep extra shampoo in and hairspray. And then we also like to use the back of our door to hang our towels. Up by the window, we have some more of this eucalyptus branch in a mason jar. And then I have this eucalyptus candle here with this cute little glass tray. My husband hung Christmas lights up on 
top of this bathroom shelf and I really love it. Up here is where I keep my makeup and my jewelry, some of my brushes. And then in this cabinet we keep more makeup and hair supplies. This is where we have our sunglasses and our toothbrushes. I don't know why it ended up being those things, but that's just where they ended up. And then we also have this little container right by our toilet to just hold a few extra items that need a place to go. One of my favorite things about this room is this adorable little sign that my friend got us for a wedding that says trust in the Lord. I feel like when you step back and you can see the little sign with the picture there, it just looks really cute. And then up here, I do like this light fixture. It's a little off center from the mirror, so that's a little strange. And there's me, hi. So guys, that is literally our entire house. It is so small, but it works great for us, especially in this season of our lives where I'm in school and Dave is working and it's just the two of us. If you guys want to see more videos about our tiny house and things that we've learned as we've had to downsize our space, please comment down below and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next video. Bye!